In response to the high rate of Zika infections in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Honorable Minister of Health, Luke Brown, decided that the existing framework for fighting the Aedes aegypti mosquito needed urgent support. A decision was then made to deploy 300 to 500 volunteers nationwide to aid in the public health response to Zika. The decision was made to conduct a pilot project on Beckway due to its high rate of infection in comparison to the rest of the nation. The volunteers underwent an intense one-week theoretical training, which apart from the public health mosquito-related training included a module on etiquette and how to respond to aggressive residents. Volunteers along with their supervisors visited approximately 85% of the buildings on Bekwe, which included occupied and abandoned premises. The training really was to fight against all mosquito-borne diseases, which would include Zika, Dengue, Yellow Fever, Chikungunya. And just for the, the comfort of the residents of Bekwe, because you know that mosquito can be an annoyance. The idea to have volunteers released onto the community as an idea of the Honourable Minister of Health, Wellness and the Environment, Lou Brown. He thought that in order for us to really ramp up the fight against mosquito and mosquito borne diseases, we need to get the people more involved. And so the intention is to visit every household, every all the premises on not only Beckley but Citroen, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The response was good. How does that make you feel about the efforts? I'm happy when you, when you listen to the to the participants. They are, they are in high spirits, they are motivated and so we are looking forward to very good things from them. We expect an excellent outcome in terms of what happens out in the community. In terms of the training, what were the different components that were looked at? Well, they, they look at the mosquito, they have a, a better understanding of actually what the mosquito is, they, they, the anatomy and physiology of the mosquito, they discuss mosquito breeding size and what to look for. You have to have a trained eye in order to identify some mosquito breeding size because the, the, the uh, evidence has shown that the mosquito is adapting to the environment and they are breeding now in, in non-traditional places. They are adapting just like humans, I guess. If one one place of residence is, is not complementary to your, your survival, then you will find somewhere else. And so the mosquito has adopted. And so the, the, the part of the session taught them how to identify mosquito breeding sites. In addition to mosquito and vector bone related training, they also receive instructions in ethics and etiquette because they are going out to meet the public and they have to have a particular response, a particular demeanor in relating to the public. So they were also given some instructions in those and conflict resolution. So it's an, uh, an all wrong package where, where they have the, the theory relating to mosquito and mosquito control also interpersonal relationship with the public. Final, any encouragement you'd like to give to the public? We are asking the public to please cooperate with the volunteers and with the Ministry of Health in general. The, the theme, the motto of the Ministry of Health is your health is shared responsibility. The Ministry of Health is facilitating the health of the public but the owners really and truly belongs to the public, to the individual, to families, to communities, to take care of themselves. Because after all, after we would have given the information, after we would have given the instructions, after we would have provided the resources and go back to our places of work, then the responsibility no rest with the people to implement, to protect themselves. So we're asking the public to cooperate with the ministry to help them to manage the health and health conditions. Okay, thank you. This started on Monday. We had to do a selection process, recruitment process, which I did basically on my own with some assistance from some other groups. Um, on Monday, um, you could have seen the apprehension in the faces, but 
by the end of the day, they were totally relaxed. They were very participatory in the um, session. And yesterday, Thursday, they had to go out in the field and do some practical sessions. And based on the reports, um, they did very well. Generally, you don't get that sort of um, support on this island, but I felt good that most of them came for the entire week and I can see that they are soaring and ready to go out there. The week experience, it was a very good one. I, I like the idea. Every day, I like everything we did so far for the week. It was very interesting. I think that where we are about to go out in the work field, I think that if they gave me a good respect, the causes with the, with the Zika because of the, the mosquito breeding. If they give a good response, I think that the Zika disease it can be good. But to me, yes, we are volunteers, but I will encourage them. Let us go ahead and do our best. That was very excellent. It was good. Can I have a piece of cows? What was the response that I was doing? What was there for them? I was doing this council. What encouraging is to give to people in general. To keep it clean, make sure that the listings are all trash, and keep all of us clean. What was your favorite session? Every day. Every day, like every day. Yeah, I liked every day, I liked everything. Yeah. Director of Special Projects, Dr. Audrey Jilks, gave remarks to participants and congratulated them on behalf of the Minister of Health, Honorable Luke Brown, and the entire ministry. Dr. Jilks thanked the volunteer for the phenomenal work they did during the three weeks of training and inspection and the information they shared with the residents to aid in reducing the incidence of mosquito on the island. Dr. Jokes further congratulated the, the participants and said, Often we hear the opposite, that the youths do not know how to conduct themselves. Dr. Jokes further said that during the training, the program, which was a complete package, aid in the overall growth and development of the participants and not just the inspection of premises. Remarks was also given to the participants by communication officer with the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment, Nika Anderson Isaacs, who engaged the students in a motivational speech. The students repeated, I know I can be what I want to be. If I work hard at it, I'll be where I want to be. The students also repeated phrases like, I'm a big deal. The students were enthused about the information that they received and promised to incorporate it in their daily lives. Intense training, um, what was your experience like? My experience was tremendous. It was extremely hard having to walk in very long distances, but the outcome was very good. And I think uh, we helped a lot of people. Some people were also. Um, yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, to coming and assisting them, but overall it was a very good experience. I would encourage them to upkeep their environment constantly, checking around their own yards or telling their neighbors or friends or anybody. Because one little slip up can start it all over again. So just to keep checking constantly. Okay, thank you. We had three weeks of intense training. What was that experience like for you? Yeah, my friend, I mean, this place was very difficult. The sun was still having me to handle. I'm not a very outgoing person. I'm not very talkative, you know. So, I'm not prepared for the person to make you talk about the search for the mosquito breeding sites and the potential mosquito breeding sites as well. What encouragement will you give to people about taking care of their environment? Uh, it's still just you know, keep the environment clean, you know, leaving garbage there, and then turn the bridge until you're not using it. It's what was the main thing you learned from this experience? Yeah. 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 Tell me a little bit about what this three week experience was like for you. It was a learning experience because I've learned 
a lot about mosquitoes and the potential breeding sites. I've learned about different people, their living conditions. I've learned how hard my parents work for me. It was just a very great learning opportunity. What, what encouragement would you like to give to people about taking care of their environment? Um, when you're taking care of your environment, it's not just for you alone because when you're dirty, it affects your neighbors, it affects their children and other people in the environment. So when you're clean and everybody's clean, all of us just be clean and happy and healthy. Three weeks of intense training. Tell me what was your experience like? It was a tremendous experience. I've encountered a lot of challenges. I've made a lot of new friends. I've seen a lot of different perspectives, understand people a lot more. Um, it's just been a it's been fantastic. I've truly become a new person. I've grown. I've achieved a lot. I think that I'm more. I've I'm happy that I was able to help my community and I hope that the people of Beku will continue to build from this and help to suppress the Aedes aegypti mosquito and suppress the possible diseases of this, of, it, of this mosquito. What encouragement do you want to give to people in terms of taking care of their environment? Um, just be cautious of your environment, what, what we have taught you, stuff like keep turning your germs down, not keeping water for too long. Use the water within the next three to five days. If you have a drain that's blocked, you can throw oil in it to, to make the mosquito not be able to breathe, come to the surface, and it will suffocate. Just be cautious of the environment, and it's everyone's, it's everyone's responsibility to make this place a better place. The overall effectiveness of the program will be known when there is a reduction in the incidences of mosquito and Bekwe, which means the participants will have no choice but to continue what they started so as to take credit for the reduction and eventual elimination of what the World Health Organization described as the most dangerous animal in the world, the mosquito. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment again congratulates all the participants for the hard work and dedication displayed throughout the training process.